Oh yeah, you're gonna love this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make the faux fur pom-pom. Now, if you're looking for a way to level up a project like a beanie, a scarf, a blanket, the faux fur pom-pom is the way to go because it's so incredibly easy to make them, but having that pom-pom be a faux fur or something besides a yarn really levels up what you are doing. It makes it look more professional and more put together. If at any point in this video you do like what you see or you're enjoying the content, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell and then click all. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, tips and tricks, fun giveaways. We have so much fun on this channel. You are not going to want to miss out. If you're wanting a little bit more more involvement. I do have a membership program with three different levels. So you decide how much involvement you want to have. Also, if you want to see behind the scenes action, maybe the works in progress or materials that you're going to need for the upcoming tutorial, check out my Instagram page. I have a lot of fun showing you behind the scenes, having stories, bloopers. There's a lot of just kind of me behind the camera that you get to see if you want a little bit more. It's a lot of fun there too. There's so much fun. We have a great time. <laughs> All right, so the pattern, there is no pattern for the faux fur pom-pom. You're going to watch this tutorial. It's going to be like, boom, boom, boom. And you're going to be like, that's it. That's all I have to do. So you don't even need a pattern in order to make the faux fur pom-pom. I just hope that you are excited to get this going and get started. When you're ready, let's dive right into what materials I used to make the faux fur pom-pom. The materials that you're going to need for your faux fur pom-pom will include faux fur, obviously. This is synthetic fibers. It's not real animal hair. You don't need an entire yard of this material. I got away with making or just utilizing a quarter of a yard strip and it makes so many pom-poms. It's awesome. I get my faux fur from Joanne Fabrics, though you can get your material from whatever fabric store. They should have a faux fur. There's so many different colors. It's beautiful and it's very exciting to play with. All right, you're also going to want a ruler or a measuring tape or something to give you little tallies. That's what the marker is for, is tallies on the faux fur, the back of the faux fur, so we know where to cut. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need some kind of polyfill or stuffed animal stuffing in order to fill the pom-pom and give it shape and structure. You can absolutely use some scrap yarn or you can use uh, scraps from the actual material itself, though I think polyfill works the best. Uh, you will need some spare yarn. So get into your stash of scrap yarn. This is a perfect opportunity to use that. You'll need a size four weight worsted or Aran size yarn, or you can go up a size to a size five bulky yarn if you would like. Both will work out. You will need this yarn to cinch up the pom-pom itself. You'll need a yarn needle or tapestry needle to help you with the yarn sewing it through the actual faux fur. And then optional is a button or a rubber band. These are different techniques that you can use to attach to the pom-pom. So that way you can remove the pom-pom if you wanna launder the beanie or the blanket or whatever you are attaching the pom-pom to because you do not wanna put this pom-pom in the washing machine. So it's a great idea to have a way to remove them but I will also include a third way where you permanently attach it to the beanie or item if that is the route you want to go. All right, I'm going to have a link to everything that you see here in both the comment section and description section below this video if you would like to get your hands on anything. Honestly, the faux fur is going to be, I'm going to give you a direction on where you can go to pick your own, though you should be able to find or substitute like the scrap yarn. You can substitute that for whatever you have on hand, for example. All right, but if you have access to any of these items and you do not want to utilize the links, go ahead and grab your materials wherever you want to get your materials. I'm just trying to make this easy peasy for you to accomplish this project. When you are ready, let's go ahead and dive right into actually making our faux fur pom-poms. All right, so we begin with the measuring tape, the marker, and the faux fur. We're gonna use 
or look at the back of it. Now for me, I have the quarter yard measurements side to side, and that measures out to be approximately seven inches for me. So I want to make a perfect square. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to measure out seven inches. I'm taking my marker and you can use whatever color you want. This side will not be seen. And seven inches. And then I can line these up. There we go. Draw a line. And then I know that this is seven, seven, seven inches and seven inches for that perfect square. Now you can play with these dimensions for whatever size pom-pom that you wanna make. Say you wanna make a smaller pom-pom for maybe a child beanie or a blanket or a scarf or whatever you wanna play with your pom-pom or put your pom-pom on. I would just try to focus on it being a square shape that you cut. Okay, taking your scissors. We are going to actually take our scissors and go between the fibers. So we don't want to try to cut over the fibers because that's going to make a big mess. There's already going to be enough of a mess that <laughs> happens with working with faux fur anyways. So we're going to take our scissors. We're going to kind of scrape the bottom of the fur and then make little cuts, just slowly gliding your scissors through the fur. There we go. Perfect. Move this other bit and we have our square awesome okay go ahead and grab your scrap yarn and your tapestry needle we're going to let's see if I was to tell you exactly how much yarn you would need I would say so that's 12 24 I'd say try, try to aim for about 36 inches that's going to be way overkill but I'd rather have too much than not enough in this situation. And that's with a seven by seven inch square. Feed your yarn needle. Great. Now taking your yarn needle, we're gonna go into the middle of one side. And I try to get close to the edge, about a quarter of an inch from the edge that way when I cinch these together I don't have a whole bunch of poof coming out the bottom go ahead and pull that all the way through leaving behind enough so you can cinch up the pom-pom and now this doesn't have to be pretty no one sees this part so it doesn't have to be super close together really you can create as much gap as you want here within some sort of reason you don't want too much of a gap and then it's got a big hole you'll see you'll be able to judge and gauge off of how wide you want your strips to be go ahead and make your way all the way around leaving yourself about an inch separation between your first tail your beginning tail and your ending tail So the last one here, there we go. And I want them both the first tail and the last tail coming out the same side. And here, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be pretty, but to give you an idea of how this looks all the way around. And then we will grab some polyfill or stuffed animal stuffing, put that in the middle just like that, kind of wrap those four corners around the edge, pull your strings, and ta-da, there we go. Pull them real tight, and that is all you have to do for your pom-pom. Now what you can do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull my string so I don't have so much slack on one side. There we go going to tie a knot so that way it stays put. 
at this point while you're doing the knot if you want to gauge like is there any excessive gaps that you want to take your yarn needle and close any gaps that is this is a perfect time and opportunity to do that now is where you have your three options option number one you just cut your strings then take these two strings thread them through let's say the top of a beanie so the very top here and then tie a knot and permanently attach the pom-pom to the beanie or you can find a button that you like. Remember, this button is not going to be seen. It's going to stay at the bottom. And this is a great, this button really covers up any of that hole that you cinched closed, which is fabulous. Now, when you're choosing a button, you can pick whatever button you want. Just make sure that it will go through the stitches on whatever it is that you made. So here, this button goes through the stitch and I know that this button will work to secure the pom-pom to this beanie. Sometimes you'll need a smaller button or even a larger button depending on the project. Or you can utilize a rubber band in which if you were to do a rubber band, so I can actually cut, this is an excessive amount of tail, so I'll just cut that excessive amount of tail off. What I would do here is I would take both tails and thread them through the needle. Take the rubber band, go into the rubber band and sew through and then into the rubber band and sew through and attach this rubber band that way. Ending with a tie off to secure the rubber band to the pom pom <clears throat> and it'll look like this. So this is how I attached this rubber band to this particular pom-pom. And then you would take, and I apologize for this beanie being black, it's just what I had on hand. But here's the, the beanie, looking at the very tip top of the beanie, there would be round one, round two, come to round two, have the rubber band go into round two, then go diagonal round two, pull the rubber band through that side and then take the rubber band, go around the pom-pom like that. And if you want, you could even come to the inside, grab that rubber band, and if you want to put a button on the inside of the beanie, you would wrap the rubber band around the button. And then you have a different type of hold on your beanie with that rubber band. So those are, this is also a larger rubber band. You could get away with a smaller rubber band would probably be the most ideal and the best to utilize for the pom-pom, just to give you that really tight feel, that really tight, secure look of the pom-pom attached to the beanie but that is all you do. It's super simple and the options are endless. They really are. It's very, very exciting. And it's so much cheaper than buying an already made pom-pom. I hope you make so many of these. Enjoy. what I tell you. Super easy, right? Oh my gosh. If you had so much fun making these faux fur pom-poms, you might also really love these videos that I have right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love spending time and just hanging out with you. I hope you have the best day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>